lovely members. I hope you're all well and happy where you are and I hope you're managing to pretty much get back to as much normality as possible, I'm hoping. Anyway, today I thought I would talk to you about party season. Now, um, for those of who, you who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. For those of you who don't, Happy Holidays. Um, it's probably the fact that most of us will be getting some time off work around that time of year and we'll probably be invited to some sort of party, whether it be an office do, etc, etc. So how do you incorporate those outfits into your wardrobe when uh, you've got a minimalist kind of uh, capsule wardrobe? So how do you then uh, add something else in? And how do you, you know, go out to a party and still feel like you look really good, but actually... Uh, add to that as well. So I've got a few ideas for you. Now, one of the first things you can do is hire something. Instead of buying it and having it sit in your wardrobe for the rest of the year and you never wear it, then why not hire it? So check out Rent the Runway or Hire the Catwalk, both of which will allow you, and I believe there's an Australian one as well, fashion, but punching Google uh, um, designer, hire designer clothes um, online. And, and something will come up. I know there's one in Australia as well. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. But if you um, go onto one of those websites, you can hire a top designer dress in your size. You choose your size, you choose what colorway you want and you hire it. They send it to you, you wear it for that evening and then you send it back. It's, margin, it's a marginal compared to the price that you'd buy, buy if you bought it new, but you get to look a million dollars for that night. So that's one option I would suggest if you really do want to dress up and, you, you know, particularly if you've been in lockdown for ages and you're kind of thinking, actually, I really want to um, feel good. I really want to go out and kind of feel good that night because um, I've spent so long kind of stuck in my house. I totally appreciate that. Now, the second way to do it is to uh, buy something or look at what you've already got in your existing wardrobe. But what I would suggest either a dress or a jumpsuit, which is in one block colour. Now, a lot of people, when they go for evening wear, they often go for black. Um, and black, unfortunately, doesn't suit everybody. Now, you guys in this group should know whether black is a colour that suits you or doesn't by now. But if not, then choose either a blood red or you could choose a bottle green or you could choose a navy blue or charcoal, which might be a bit odd actually for the evening, but I guess that depends on how you dress that one up. Um, a deep purple colour as well as another colour that you can choose. So have a think about what colour block colour you want and what you've got in your wardrobe, your existing wardrobe. And try and choose either a jumpsuit or a dress with really simple, clean color, co colors, styles. So by what I mean is that avoid kind of too much um, detailing, um, keep it very kind of uh, either thickest straps on here, um, and it doesn't matter what the neck's like, but avoid frills and additions like fancy buttons or um, uh, fancy zips or lace or any of those things. Try and look for something which is a really simple, clean silhouette. Um, so it could be a wide leg jumpsuit, you know, with a square neck or whatever it is. It doesn't matter how how wide or how um, fitted it is, but it matters that it's very clean. So you could even go for like a 1950s style black dress, you know, with a, a circle skirt on it, um, or you could go for a bodycon dress. It really doesn't matter. What matters is it being a really simple, clean colour. So one block colour. Now, the reason why I say that is because you can dress that item up or down. So then that way, Unlike, you know, what I mentioned earlier about hiring, so hiring something and you handing it back, you can keep it for the rest of the year and use it for different occasions. So let's say, for example, you have decided to go for a green, bottle green, uh, square neck, um, wide legged jumpsuit because you've got bottle green in your wardrobe already you know it suits you, and you know it's one of the colours you, that suits you, you know it will kind of go with a pair of shoes you've got, oh, you might already have it, which is great, that's even better. So what can you do with it? Well, in the 
daytime or in the winter, you could actually wear a long sleeve top underneath it. So let's say, for example, you put on a Peter Pan uh, off-white blouse underneath it. So you've got the square neck that comes here and you've got a collar, the buttons that come down here and you've got your sleeves that come in. Maybe it's a short sleeve jumpsuit. You've got sleeves coming out. That would look fantastic. Now, when you're doing this, I always think, and I don't know why this is particularly, I don't think there's anything hard and fast rules about it, but I all, all, almost think you need to have the neck underneath clear of the neck on the top. And what I mean by that is it often looks a bit weird. So imagine if I had a V-neck that came to sort of here underneath the dress that I'm wearing now, it would kind of look slightly off. Whereas if I've got a square neck coming like this, and then I've got a little collar at the top, it's clear of it. it there's kind of some distance. It's made, making a distinction between one item of clothing and the other. So it's kind of very clear what's going on there rather than it being kind of like, or like a if I had a scoop neck under this, um, you know, unless you were literally, this was the only way that would work is let's say, for example, this was really low cut and I wanted to kind of cover up that area, then I could have a little vest or a little something just going across here. But if it was kind of here, it'd be kind of strange. So if you've got a square neck, for example, or a wide neck, you could put a collared shirt underneath. You could also put a green and white, say, striped T-shirt underneath. So a round neck, you know, like a normal crew neck, um, long sleeve T-shirt underneath it. Put on a pair of trainers, put on a flat pair of brogues with it um, and dress that down for winter. And just for going out, you could you could wear that going to work. You could wear that going out to the, with the girls. In fact, if you were going out with the girls, maybe you could put a blouse on like a kind of a kind of smarter blouse underneath it. So it almost looks like 1960s, you know, that thing of having the jumpsuit and then the shirt underneath. Um, and you could put a pair of block shoes or a pair of platforms with it. Now, if you're gonna go into the evening, and this is for your party season, then what I would suggest is keeping this neck open as it is, and wearing a piece of jewellery. You could wear a piece like emerald jewellery or something that matches um, on your wrist. Try and keep the jewellery, if it's a square neck, try and keep the jewellery kind of inside that square. Hanging it further down might look a bit odd. In some, it, like a V-neck and uh, other style necks, it would probably look okay, but I would try and keep it within the neck. Um, you could then have a pair of sparkly gold or silver shoes. Now, depending on what your skin tone is, whether you're gold or whether you're, um, sorry, whether you're blue or yellow skin toned, then will depend on whether you suit gold or silver more. If you're more blue skin tone, then you tend to see suit silver more. If you're more um, yellow skin tone, you tend to see suit gold more. So bear that in mind when you're adding anything sparkly addition wise to your outfit. So, you know, let's say you're warm skinned, you could actually choose a pair of gold sparkly heels to go with your green um, jumpsuit and then gold jewelry and maybe a gold bag. Um, so really think about how you can dress it up and dress it down. The reason why it works is because there's not too much detail in it. So what you do is you almost have your blank canvas, which is your plain black dress or your plain navy blue jumpsuit or whatever it is. You have your plain canvas and then you add on um, your paint your paint colours, like I talk about with the colours, you add on your paint styles to actually build that outfit up into something for daytime or for the evening. And that way you can have that item in your wardrobe all year round and wear it again, but make it look completely different. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you are going out to parties this season, then um, enjoy and let me know how you get on. And also let me know in the comments if you've got any um, suggestions for future videos you'd like to see. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.